Hi everyone, I hope you're okay. Today I'm doing my current go-to makeup look, which is what I'm wearing right now. Um, recently I've had a few comments from a few of you asking for me to do a video on my recent kind of makeup looks that I've been wearing in some of my most recent videos. And I actually was planning on doing it anyway, because I have kind of changed up some of the products I've been using and also some of like what I've been doing. So I thought that I would do a video and I thought I'd kill two birds with one stone. So if you want to see how I recreated this kind of look that I've been wearing recently in videos, it's kind of like a bit of a smoky eye, a little bit of gloss, lots of highlighter, um, then make sure you keep on watching and yeah, let's just go right back to the beginning. Slightly scary face, but I'm sure you can take it. So I'm going to start with some primer and I'm going to be using the Gosh Prime and Set. I'm going to quickly get some makeup on my skin because I'm having a bit of a breakout this week. Um, my skin has like actually been really, really clear and good for the past kind of few months and then I'm not quite sure what's happened this week. Um, so foundation wise, I have been using the L'Oreal Infallible uh, foundation over the past couple of months. I really, really like this. Um, but what I tend to do is I also mix it in. It's a bit lighter because I have baked hands but I'm never quite sure what colour foundations to get, they're always a bit hit and miss. I'm going to mix in some of this highlighter from Barry M which is the Light Me Up highlighter, I really really love this um, and it, the only thing is, is you have to do like, the only way to get it out is like you have to pump it and a lot comes out in that pump so but this just kind of makes my skin look a little bit more glowy and less flat. Now I think because the foundation is quite pale, I'm not really matching up. So I'm just going to go and get my liquid bronzer that I use to warm up my skin a little bit. So I'll be back in a second. So I picked up the Energy Bank Sun Flash, which is by This Works. And it's like a liquid kind of bronzer. Um, I'm just going to pop this all over my face to just warm it up a little bit. It's really good for mixing in. I probably should have mixed this in with my foundation. Um, for making it a little bit darker. Because I always try and buy foundations too light rather than too dark. And I'm just going to bring it in. It just warms up the skin a little bit. Recently I have been using the Vichy Dermablend uh, Fluid Correction Foundation as concealer and um, this is what it looks like. It's really, really high coverage and long lasting so it's really good for like covering up spots and because I've had a breakout um, which has kind of taken up most of my cheeks, I can just pop this on and know that it's going to cover everything up. This so once I've covered everything up, it's now time to move on to my under eyes, which is usually the thing that takes me the longest time. Um, the MYX Dark Circle Corrector is pretty good actually. It's like a peachy tone, so it kind of like counteracts the darkness. Oh, my roller's just fallen out of my hair. Um, so it just kind of makes the whole area a little bit brighter. And then I'm going to use um, some of this concealer from MUA. And it's called the Prime and Conceal, and it's a bit of a mess, so excuse me. Um, but it's got like all these different kind of correcting colours. And I take a little bit of the yellow colour, and then like this really light colour in the middle, and just pop that over the top. It's just really bright in the area. I'm going to apply some translucent powder now. This is the Avicii Dama Blend powder. Um, and I just find this kind of sets everything in place. Next up is bronzer and I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Sculpt and Glow, I think that's what it's called. Um, this is probably my favourite bronzer ever, high praise, um, it's just a really lovely bronzer, I mean this is bloody expensive. Um, I don't really like the highlighter from it, it's not really too kapow, I like a really strong highlighter. Um, but the bronze is amazing. I just think it gives you a really nice glow. So, I'm going to contour my nose now with the Kiko contour. Can't talk. A uh, contouring. Contour, whatever. Contour pencil. Um, and I'm just going to do two lines down my nose. Hopefully, you can see this. 
like that. Um, and then I tend to just get my contour brush from Real Techniques and just smudge that in. I don't really tend to use highlighter when I'm doing the highlight and cons uh, contour on my nose because I find it all kind of just merges together. Um, I always do it a couple of times. I literally hate my nose. Um, I'm going to go for highlighter and recently my favourite highlighter has been the Mary Lou Manizer highlighter from The Balm. So I'm just going to pop this on my cheekbones. Or well, tops of my cheekbones. I don't even know if I have, well I obviously have cheekbones but I think they're very prominent. I like a lot of highlighter. I also tend to then go back to the Barry M liquid highlighter um, and I just kind of pump it into my brush and I just kind of go. This is such a nice drugstore highlighter. Um, so now we're going to move on to eyes and recently I have been going for more of a smoky kind of eye so I use this palette from Wet n Wild this one, and I just take the two darkest brown shades and I just pop them all over my eyelid um, I've been, I used to really love kind of doing a full smoky eye so like top and bottom of eyeliner but I think that kind of makes me look more tired um, especially because I've been so proud about my dark circles lately. Um, so this just kind of, I feel it opens up my eyes a little bit more and I've just been really liking it recently. So I just pop this all over the lid. I started doing this really since um, noticing that Emily from PLL, her look in the five year time jump, she's kind of wearing a lot more of a smoky eye and really long lashes. So I kind of thought, oh, that's quite a nice look. that I just line my upper lash line with some eyeliner and this is the L'Oreal Super Liner. I just literally do a line across my lash line, nothing too fancy. And then I'm going to curl my eyelashes. Favourite mascara at the moment is still the uh, Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I've just kind of not found a mascara that I found is good recently. Um, it do, the only thing is I find that it dries out very quickly. I don't think it lasts that long, but I do really like it. Okay, let's move on to brows. I'm going to be using the Anastasia, Anastasia, however you say it, a dip brow pomade. And I'm going to take this brush from Crown Brushes, which is like the most amazing brow brush ever. And I'm just going to brush those brows. And use this. I also like to put a little bit of highlighter on my brow bone because otherwise I feel it looks a bit naked. Right, now it's time to move on to lips. I've been using this lip liner from Essence. It was a whole pound, like one British pound, amazing. And this is the colour in the nude. Need sharpening, um, but I've not got a pencil sharpener with me, so, you know. That's just to give my lips a little bit of shape because this top lip is kind of non-existent. Um, recently I've been using like a nude lipstick, like the Charlotte Tilbury Nude Kate lipstick. And then I put this Soap and Glory gloss over the top of it. That's in my handbag. So I'm going to use this new one that I've got from MYX, which is MYX Liquid Suede. And this is in the shade 07, I think. 
It's like kind of like a brownie nude. I'm only going to put a little bit on because it's quite dark. I might just put a little bit of concealer on my lips to just lighten up a little bit. Then I'm going to add my gloss because recently I've been thinking, I don't know if matte lip, lips is a little bit too harsh for my face. This is the Sexy Mother Pucker by Soap and Glory and it's the shade Donut. It isn't really clumpy lips, but I haven't noticed it too. Um, and that's my area. Then I tend to set it. I've been using my Urban Decay All Nighter Spray, but recently that's kind of a bit of the dust. So I ordered a new one. And this is the NYX Dewy Finish. Again, I bought this because my skin's been so dry recently. Um, but my skin actually seems to look really dewy today, so I probably don't need it. I'm just going to set my makeup. So yeah, that is everything. I'm going to take my rollers out now. Then I'll be back and I'll do like the final reveal. And there you have it, there is my current kind of go-to makeup look when I'm filming or going out. Um, I've just taken the rollers out of my hair and this bit here is just completely misbehaving. I think I'm going to have to play around with it a little bit. But yeah, this is the kind of look I go for. Um, a little bit of a smoky eye with not much going on the bottom. Lots of highlighter and a little bit of gloss too over a nude going on with my hair it's like now all stuck together with hairspray so that's really nice um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video let me know if there's any other makeup looks you would like to see me do i have got a couple of celebrity inspired makeup looks in fact i've got three celebrity inspired makeup looks plans i'm gonna do really really soon um but let me know if there's any others you would like to see apart from that i will see you very soon in my next video